Welcome back to Outhouse Outdoors. Today we are going on the one and only Big Windy Lake Winnipeg and we are going to be fishing for some greenback walleyes. But um, we're out here, it's Friday and we got a couple days to fish so this will be the first day. I don't know how many parts or how many videos we'll do. That's my dad's most annoying ringtone ever. It goes off about every five minutes. Um, but we are going to be out here for a couple days, so I'm gonna have to split this video up into multiple parts, but we will see. Um, other than that, I will show you when we get set up and start fishing. I'll throw the GoPro on and try to get some footage for you. Just caught one, nice green back. I couldn't record in time. My, <laughs> we're fishing so shallow, all of a sudden I couldn't even mark my bait, and I noticed something on the bottom, and probably. 20s? Uh, bring bring the bump board. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, frick, that hurt. Well, I was trying to get the hook. He hammered it so hard, it was so deep. I was trying to get my hand down. Oh. 23. Nice. Did you get a picture? picture? Yeah. I don't have a camera. Get your... Yeah. Dump him in the water. He's bleeding. I'm trying to get it, but my hand's in my... First green back of the trip. That's what we caught them all on last year, too. Yeah. I was going to tell you, maybe you shouldn't use that color because I have the same color on it. I think you did, huh? Yeah. If you catch another one like that, I might have to leave, leave the truck and come over there. Right. And just put a whole bunch of, you know, drill a whole bunch of holes right along that snow edge. Along that. Dad! Eater? Eater? I'll oh, measure it. What was the slot? What was the slot? No. He he hit me. I was pounding the bottom. All of a sudden, I felt like I thunk and I set the hook and missed him. Then he came back and hit it again. Right at like one foot of water. This guy really just had me get up and start running over for the world's biggest Lake Winnipeg walleye. I don't know if you can hold that out even far enough to make it big, look big. Here, you hold it in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> Flipless. Crushed it. I just, I had it sitting down there while I was retying. I just moved it. And all of a sudden, I saw something going on the bottom. I was like, shoot. So I dropped down and he came up and smoked it. Got this other one. Got a measure in there. Because we got she's in the slot. So we're keeping fish today. We got some 19. He is. Like 19 on the dot. Yeah, perfect eater, so take care of him and 
Lead them up probably, but beautiful fish. I'm gonna go over what I'm using real quick today. So, um, the last one I caught was on a rattle trap. So it was a little green one. I'll show you that in a second, but I don't have it next to me. But the bigger walleye caught and the smaller eater was on this. It's a spoon. It's a, I hear what they're called, but it's by Clam. So it's just got this little shiny thing on the bottom. I don't know what you call it. It's a flash thing. And a Wonder Bread color. The Wonder Bread color has always been good for me. I mean, like any lake around up here. So, I mean, I just stick to the tried and true and it seems to work. So I keep using it, but I'll let you know if I catch your mind. I'll show you what I'm using the other thing in a bit. So just give me a second. So the other thing I'm using is this rattle bait, as you can see. Make sure you're barbless. That's the rule in Canada. So get all the barbs crimped. And I mean, I've used this in the last year and it seems to work good. They don't always need something giant. So just a little crankbait like this works. Sauger! What do you mean? Sauger! So if you're new to Minnesota, the difference between the wall and Sauger's, Sauger's have black dots on their fin, their dorsal, and they don't have a white tip tail unlike a walleye, which I'll show you later, but that's a Sauger and they don't usually get as big as walleyes, but they're still fun to catch. We got another. Can you help? No. <laughs> well, caught another. Not the biggest, but this is a good little learning lesson. He's about the same size as that Sager. So I will show you, for those of you who don't know, so the walleye has no spots, as you can see, just a little bit darker dorsal. Well, not darker, but you know, just not the spots. It's almost kind of darker than usual. It might be like a Saga mix, but you can see the white tip on the tail right here at the bottom. So that shows you this walleye. He could be a little bit of a mix because of the dark dorsal. You see a little spottage, but not enough. I don't. I think he's more walleye than sauger. I'd say because of the white tip, but not. You could clearly see there's not as many black dots. So. I got a good one. Really good one. I literally just dropped down to pound the bottom. I lifted up and I was like, why is my line start screaming? Nice. I don't know what you got on GoPro, but I dropped my line down and it just started screaming. And I was like, oh my gosh, I fish ate it. And of course, I fought it, fought it, and came up and nice walleye. What did I do with my pliers? Did I get my pliers to you? No, you're right next to you. Are they? You, right oh, perfect. <clears throat> That's gotta be. 23 to what? It's, gonna be, it's gonna be 22. That's what I think. Don't pop that out. Bump board. Don't mind me. Too. Nice fish. Yeah, I'm gonna get a video of the release. Need a picture? Or? No.
Got the slob as you saw from the GoPro. Good look see. Oh dandy walleye. They're thick up here, that's all they are. Thick girthos. I'm gonna send it back. Absolute dandy. I'm back. Not all releases are beautiful. Wow, and that one was especially not. Oh, we're gonna attempt to do this. There he goes. Community flag, whoever gets there first. <laughs> flag! <laughs> Yeah, she's gone, gone. Damn. Speed. Absolute slob. Holy cow! Hey, that's a eater. Oh, look at his dorsal so messed up. Of course, not even a walleye. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Get your breath there. <laughs> oh. He almost went back down That's the a hole. Big yeah, it is. Look at his dorsal; it's messed up. Yeah, it's a... Let's get a little spike. Put him in the pile. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight striper. My biggest so far this year is seven. Big mark. It's big. Doubled up on bobbers. What? What? Should we keep mine? Should we keep mine? He's a little bit smaller than the other ones. This big? Okay. He's probably like 14 or 15. Yeah, he's already gone, so. Dad, got another.
basically pulled the rod out of my hand. I was on my phone and all of a sudden my rod just bent over. Eater! Another one. Pulled the rod out of my hand. I can't have the GoPro on when it pulls my rod out of my hand. My GoPro dies so fast and doesn't have that much GoPro or foot or storage, so I can't leave it on all the time. So I'm gonna eat this one, clear his throat, and be good, good meat. Probably at 16 again. 16, 17. Got another one. I thought I had the GoPro on. I had it on. I turned it off because I thought. There's no fish, and then he came back on. I clicked the button again, but it didn't turn back on. Then there's a cool bite, but he's a good eater. Let's see how much. Got one. I'm trying not to be too loud. There's a lot of people around. You know, people like the spot steal. So I mean, it's not like a hammer, but when you catch a fish, try not to give away the spot. I gotta bring this guy back quickly. I'm gonna put this rod down. Go check if he's in the slot. I think he's perfect. So. Twenty and a half. Twenty and a half. That's my guess. <clears throat> Twenty, Dad. Twenty and a quarter. Perfect, so keep them and get back to fishing. We're driving off the lake now. It's about 5.30. We had about, um, fish for about five hours. And we caught seven fish. Um, we'll probably eat those up tonight. But we're gonna clean them, probably eat them up. And um, we didn't catch any big ones like giants we put back two decent ones three four four decent ones my dad got two decent ones and i got two so and we got one jumbo perch as you can probably see in the video but i think i don't know if i have enough content for one video so this might go into the second day but um, i will let you know when i know for sure but we're getting off the lake and i think we're not, probably not going to die fingers crossed well, I'm sitting here editing the video now and I found I had enough content for two videos and the second one might be a little longer because it's almost like two days of fishing, but one of the days was cut short and the first day we didn't catch as much, but it'll be pretty jam-packed with some footage. So um, hopefully you like this Winnipeg video and um, next one will come up soon. So please like subscribe and